Jackson 5 is recording an I Want You Back. It was their first release on Motown. After they left Motown, they became the Jacksons. Now they're going on tour for the first time in almost three decades and paying tribute to their brother Michael. Joining me now for a primetime exclusive, Tito, Jackie, Marlon and Jermaine Jackson. It's their first interview together since Michael's death. Welcome to you all. It, it, Thank it, you. It's fantastic Thank you. to see you. Great to see uh, you. It's, it's a real thrill. You know, I grew up with your music. You know, I mean, the moment I hear that, I want to get up and start, but I won't because I don't want to see that. But it's also, it's a bittersweet moment because seeing the four of you together without Michael, you know, for everyone that, that loved all you guys, uh, a very bittersweet moment. But for you in particular, this was your brother. How does it feel for you going back on, on tour, on the road, and Michael's no longer here? Well, we miss him. We're excited to keep the legacy going, the music going, but we miss him so much. But uh, it's something that he would want us to do, to keep it going. Uh, and I guess the challenge, right, guys, was trying to decide what music we, we yeah. were going to do. That was yeah. the biggest challenge. And plus, the fans wanted us to tour. You know, we're, after getting so many emails from the fans around the world, I think we owe it to them as well to go out to and perform for our fans. They want, to, they want to sing the songs with us and entertain, so. I, I, I think with the brothers, and uh, each one of us might have, <clears throat> you know, our own reason of why, how we feel on stage without having our brother up there, because so many years we've always performed, and he was right there. So for me, you know, when I'm on stage, I, I, think, I think about, wow, Michael used to be right here. Now he's yeah. no longer, but in spirit, he will be there with us. Yeah, yes, I, well, I agree with Marlon, what he was saying. And what's beautiful about this tour is uh, we're going to be doing some of the uh, venues that we played prior to Motown, like the Apollo Theater, oh, places we're like about that. that. In New York. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, we started there. Yeah. Yeah. So many shows with Michael prior to I Want You Back in ABC. So Six shows a day. Yeah. Six we shows know, a day. We know he'll be out. there with us. Six it's shows good. a day. That's Six shows a day. Is that right? Yes. We always trying to make it. Yes. No, no, tell me this. I mean, we'll come back to, to Michael a little later, but. When you think of the Jacksons, I suppose the impression that everybody has is that you guys never really had a childhood. This thing exploded when you were young and that you've all in some way been damaged by that fact, that you never had the chance to be normal. And yet, I've only just met three of you now, I've met Jermaine before. You seem remarkably undamaged on the outside. You seem <laughs> happy, guys. No, I'm not looking at people and thinking, you guys are damaged. So what is the truth about being a Jackson? Well, what is abnormal? Yeah. See, what is abnormal? Well, that's a very good point. Well, you know, uh, my theory on all of that is that I've always said that I think my father prepared us for manhood. You're only a child up to 18, mm. but you got the rest of your life to be a man. And he prepared us to be men for that extra I mean, he's had a tough 40 rap. or 50 years. Yeah. You know, we, we're men. Has he know. had a too hard a rap, your father? I mean, I've interviewed I think Jermaine, so. I've interviewed Latoya, so. Janet. I, I feel so, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, because I, I, I can tell you now, I've done an interview with your mother, which is airing on Monday, which is an extraordinary interview. Mm -hmm. uh, she's an extraordinary woman. But of the many things she said, which mm -hmm. I found extraordinary, um, it was her defense of her husband, your father, mm -hmm. which I found one of the most moving. And she was like, you know, when you guys grew up, where you grew up, you had a choice as parents. You let your kids run riot, go on the streets and get into trouble and end up maybe getting shot or jailed or whatever it may be, or you got a grip of your children and you disciplined them and you gave them another life. Exactly. Um, chores to do, yeah. How, how do you honestly feel? I mean, do you feel your father went too far on occasion? Or do you now, now that you're older, and you've had kids, some of you yourselves, do you get it? I, well, get, I get it totally. Um, you know, when you're a kid, sometimes you feel your father has gone too far because you're a kid. But now when you look back, he's done a wonderful job. You know, um, look where we are. I mean... I, I, I think that, um, you know, when you have so many kids in the family, I mean, we are had. Uh, you know, I have um, what was it, 11 of us in the home in Gary, Indiana. Mm. So somewhere along the, on along the way, you got to have a grip on the family. And um, he saw something in the kid. Well, let me rephrase that. I'm going to put it. My mom saw something in her kids that my father did not see, mm. which was they had some, uh, some, t some type of talent. And after convincing him over a few months that your kids do have talent, and once she did that and convinced him, then it was on for us because he wanted to make sure. And when you say that, you know, as you sit here now, you're all in your 
the late 50s, 60 in one. Well, I think you're, you're the oldest, right? I'm the oldest. Yeah. I've got to say, mate, you, you are best, weathering yeah. well. Oh, thank oh, you. Th How old are you? 60? 61? 61. 61. I mean, all of you. I mean, give yes. me all your ages. Come on. 58. 58. 61. 61. 55. 55. 57. Right. I mean, you're all, I've got to say, guys, you are aging well. Thank like you. a thank fine you. bottle of Chateau Latour. Oh, that's um, good. <laughs> you get, exactly. I exactly that. what I'm thinking. Um, I, again, I come back to your upbringing because I, I, we can come to the, the, what happened next uh, a little later. But do you think that when you see your father now, because he's such an extraordinarily iconic figure, I think, in American entertainment. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that has always had the mean, tough guy reputation. Brutalizing his children, driving them to fame and fortune. And yet, the more I talk to people around your family, the less I feel that. The more I feel like he just wanted you guys yeah. to come out of life well. Exactly. He got behind us. He supported us. And, and how do you get on with him now? Great. Very well. Yeah. He kept us... He kept us busy. Uh, you know, he used to work two jobs. And when he was away, he would ha we had cylinder blocks in our backyard. He would make us move them. I mean, we had hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. Move them from one side of the yard to the other side. That took all day. And after you get older and you realize what he was doing, he was keeping you out of the streets. What are the, what are the values he instilled in you, do you think? So many, so many. Respect other people's yeah. the same one. You know, Being uh, honest and doing what you're told to do exactly how you're told to do it. And just be just the discipline. Your mother said to me that she again. This is not airing till Monday, so it's slightly in reverse, but I think it's relevant. She said to me that she despairs of modern America in terms of parental control of children. Exactly. That now you can't do anything to discipline your kids without sometimes the kids ringing up and complaining about their own parents. And she said unfairly. Obviously, sometimes it is fairly, and there is abuse out there and so on. But she felt strongly that there isn't enough discipline. I don't think kids today respect adults as the way they did when we were coming up as kids. Exactly. And I think that's important. Mm -hmm. I see kids today, they don't, you know, step aside and let their, their, their yeah, older elderly. elderly go in front of them or pass them over yeah. the door. Through. They have no sense of that. And mm -hmm. that comes from inner house. You know, your parents instilling I totally values agree with and you. things of that yeah, nature mm -hmm. in the kids. And, yeah. and it's not happening because sometimes the parents are too busy trying to be kids themselves. Yeah. Totally agree. Let's take a break, chaps. Let's come back and talk uh, about, a bit more about Michael. I want to know what plans you have for the tour. How are you going to remember him? Uh, there is a, a suggestion you can have. <laughs> Jackson's on the Victory Tour in 1984, performing Shake Your Body. That was the last time the brothers ever performed on tour together. That is my favorite Jackson song. Oh, Shake, shake Your body, body? Yeah, and I have shaken my body all over the world to that song <laughs> in a terrible manner, certainly not in the way that you guys do. Here's what strikes me about you four. The, even in the commercial breaks, you're just great mates, aren't you? Yes. Even yes. now, despite everything you've been through. Now, I'm supposed to be looking at these tormented, ruined souls <laughs> Destroyed by fame, <laughs> fortune. Yeah, you know, you're the Jacksons, apparently the most dysfunctional family out there. You know, here's a, here's a secret I've unraveled from interviewing half of you. Oh, you're yeah. no more dysfunctional oh. than most families I know. In fact, if anything, you're oh, less dysfunctional. Boy. Do you feel, I mean, you laugh when you hear that, but does yeah. it make you laugh when everyone it else you assumes just, you're so dysfunctional? Yeah, here I, I see four they brothers getting on great. They don't know us, right, Mom? They don't know us. Is there anything know. weird about you, Mom? He's I should the funniest guy in the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here. Why did y'all sit me next to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you sit me next to you? Do you ever have arguments? Do you ever have fights? Of course. When was the last disputes. time you actually physically fought? Oh, that's we don't, fight. We, we don't, we don't <laughs> no, you know, that? No, no, we don't, we, we, we don't do that. We might put on some boxing gloves. Who would win if you were to fight? I would. I would. I'm the man. Oh, you're all going. You're all saying you win. Okay. <laughs> Let's cut to the real, the real story. The favorite Jackson song of them all. Tito? Well, I like the old stuff. Like, I want you back in ABC, the love you say, the Motown stuff. I love that. But here's, here's the deal with this question. This is, you can only have one song. One, one song, I want you back. I'll be there. Uh, since Jackie took one of mine, I'm going to say, uh, whew, to go to Jermaine. Uh, no, Jermaine. Marlon, because you're going to say the same thing I say. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Just go, go. Okay, uh, I like Maybe Tomorrow. Yeah, it's a great yes. call. Do you, uh, Jermaine? Jermaine? No, never can say goodbye. Really? Yes. Yeah. You, see, but you see, there's so many to choose from, aren't there? Mm -hmm. And are we going to hear all these on the tour? Yes. 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 All the hits. Yes. Never all say hits. goodbye, too. 
Yes. <laughs> We're very excited. Yes. We're very excited because um, there's so many songs, right, guys? Yes. We're picking through so many things. There's songs that, that um, oh my God, that we know, like looking through the windows that we per perform with Michael, and now we're doing it now.